Today we're talking about a surprising upset on the Linux scene. Cache OS, an opinionated performance-tuned Arch derivative, has climbed to the top of the DistroWatch popularity chart in August 2025. That jump has turned a lot of heads because it marks a shift in where interest is flowing within the community, and because Cache OS is doing it by leaning hard into speed, gaming support, and a tightly curated user experience. It's important to start with a reality check. DistroWatch's rankings measure page hits, not installed base or market share. The site's page hit metric gives a useful snapshot of what people are clicking on and talking about, but it doesn't prove how many people are actually running a distro day to day. Still, when a relatively young arch spin rises to number one on that list, it's worth asking why and what it might signal. So what is Cache OS at its core? It's an arch-based distribution that markets itself around being blazingly fast and opinionated by default, shipping with a set of performance tweaks, a curated set of kernels and utilities, and conveniences like a graphical package manager and tools to make gaming and hardware support easier. Recent updates and release notes show that the project is actively iterating. Their July 2025 release added installer options and other refinements, which helps explain why people are clicking through to read more. Around the same time, reviewers and community members noted that Cache OS offers multiple desktop choices, XFCE, UKUI, and a Cosmic variant among them, and that in everyday use, those desktops feel very responsive. That responsiveness appears to be one of the distro's selling points. Users and reporters repeatedly mention a noticeably snappy desktop experience, which matters when first impressions are formed by screenshots and install time experiences. Caveats remain. Hands-on reports found small installer glitches with the July 2025 installation media, for example. A Calamari's install that didn't always pull in a GUI network manager by default, and those rough edges are exactly the sort of thing early adopters should expect from an opinionated, fast-moving project. In other words, impressive performance, but keep a spare USB or a VM handy when you try it. There's also an intriguing signal coming from gaming telemetry. Some news outlets noted a strong showing for Cache OS in recent Steam survey coverage, suggesting the distro is gaining traction among Linux gamers. Steam's public hardware and software survey is the canonical place for those numbers, and while distribution-level percentages can be noisy and deserve scrutiny, the broader trend of more Linux presence on Steam is clear and relevant to Cache OS's narrative. Beyond numbers, the community reaction tells us something about momentum. The Cache OS forums and subreddits are buzzing. Congratulations, install reports, and how-to posts are showing up quickly after the ranking news. That community energy often feeds itself. More guides, more package tips, more users trying it in VMs and on spare PCs, which can amplify page hits and real adoption if the project keeps shipping high-quality updates. So what does this mean for Linux broadly? On one level, it's simply healthy. Interest in alternatives, experimentation, and niche distros keeps the ecosystem vibrant. On another level, it shows there's room for a distro that prioritizes real-world responsiveness and developer-friendly defaults while still courting gamers and mainstream users. Cache OS isn't right for everyone, it's opinionated, and that's the point, but its climb on DistroWatch is a reminder that practical polish and performance tuning can attract attention fast. Now, bottom line, Cache OS topping the DistroWatch chart is not definitive proof of mass adoption, but it is a meaningful data point. It signals rising interest in a distribution that's staking its claim on speed and a curated experience. If you care about snappy desktops or Linux gaming, Cache OS is worth a look in a VM. And as a story, it's a useful prompt to talk about how we measure popularity in the open source world and what really matters to users.